If you are someone with suicidal thoughts, remember that someone loves you very much and would miss you if you left this world. If you feel like you have no one to talk to, you can email me. I will listen. People who were mentioned in someone's suicide note, what's your story? I was thanked in my friend's suicide note. I was with him the night he passed. I didn't know he was going to do it. He just said he was upset and wanted to meet up for a smoke and a chat. I believe I was the last person to see him alive. It really hit me hard when I found out he had passed. Around May two years ago, my mother tried to commit suicide and I remember finding the note after I found her. When I went to find her I thought she was somebody trying to break into our house so I went and grabbed a knife. It turns out the noise I heard was her body flopping against the door. I ended up being able to make sure she was okay, but I think what killed me most was her note. She stated that my two sisters and I were all she had, and, since we were growing up, she didn't have us anymore. She wanted to leave this world so badly. My amazing cousin killed himself when I was 16. He was 26. We found the note a few weeks later. He'd singled out immediate family members with a love slash goodbye note, no one else except his four siblings and parents. Then there was my mum, my brother, and then me at the bottom. You're going to grow up and be amazing. You're going to be a star. You don't know wait till your fav person in the world thinks the world of you, and that's the last thing they think before they die. And you have no idea how to live up to it. Haunting and inspiring. You don't forget it. He wanted me to know he loved me. That it wasn't my fault. That I was the best friend anyone could want or have. That I should have his car. That he thought he was going mad and was saving his brother and me from the madness. I showed the note to my therapist. She thinks he had schizophrenia. His mom did. It's been six years. I'm still not over his death. Doubt I ever will be. I was a teenager and a close friend killed herself. She wanted me to have her music collection, leather jacket, and a screenplay she wrote. When my stepdad and the father of my three younger brothers killed himself last month, he didn't leave a note. What he did do, I didn't even know that was possible, was queue up three texts so they wouldn't be received until the morning after. At exactly 8am, all three of my brothers received a text from him. To my two oldest brothers, 19 and 17, I love you forever. I'm sorry, I just can't live with this any longer. To my youngest brother, 13, you are a very special boy and I'll love you forever xx. I asked my youngest brother if it had made it better or worse. He said worse. When my mom attempted suicide I was in her note. She just wanted me to know that it wasn't my fault and that she loves me no matter what. I love you, it's not your fault. Word for word, that was the last thing she said to me over the phone. I just kept repeating where are you? Please, please tell me where you are. I just wish I had said something different. Maybe I could have told her something to change her mind. Asked her to think about the kids we were going to have, the life we could live together. But all I did was ask where she was. I was the last person she spoke to, and I didn't tell her how much I loved her. My mom called me to tell me that I contributed to her death before she killed herself. I imagine having her tell me it wasn't my fault would have helped. No note, just a phone call to Pratine me that had stayed up too late because my single parent mother had gone out looking to score whatever pills would sate her addiction. I don't remember the call completely, but I do remember being annoyed she'd kicked me off the dial up by calling in. She made me promise a bunch of things that felt very serious but also very confusing and then we hung up. Police officer knocked on the door a few hours later and everything changed. No one but me knows about that phone call, especially not my brother. 
I'll be the exact same age she was, down to the hour, in roughly 500 days. I keep a countdown timer on my phone. One of the promises she made me make was to live longer than she did. He sent me a separate note the day before he did it. Thanks for existing. I love you. I just answered with love you too. But I had no idea. My mom committed suicide after finding out that her tumor was malignant. She had just lost her father a year before and her mother died in treatment for cancer. She laid out notes to specific people and how she wanted things done. I have always been an old soul and she planned for me to find her as I would be the reasonable person I am. But that day I was invited to try out for the debate team, so I came home late and my little sister was the one who found her. He just got back from Iraq, Marine. He called me up. I wasn't very close to him, but we both served. Michael. We talked for about two weeks before it happened. He talked about how much he loved his mom, his brothers in the service. I thought everything was normal, that's the shit we all talk about after coming home. He shot himself over the phone. I still can't get the sound out of my head. When I returned home I found out that he had left a ruck for me. He left a rucksack for me, and I couldn't do anything for him. He gave it to his parents, and had asked them to give it to me. Once did many military funerals. I was asked to help out on one, but it was a shitty time. Saturday, early morning. I praise the memory of a young father. I presented the flag to his 5 year old daughter. Her mom died of cancer a few months ago. That was the hardest moment of my life. I had to look a little girl in the eyes, no tears, and give her her father's flag. That's what broke me. One of my best friend's mother committed suicide and had a little message for her two children in her suicide note. It was mostly straight down the line apologetic and an explanation as to why. Spinal cancer which metastasized and it was only downhill for her. She did her taxes, paid all her bills, got all her paperwork in order, wrote a farewell note and swallowed a bottle of painkillers. I only managed to see a small section of the note as I was the second non-emergency person on the scene. My friend was the first, but enough to know it was her way of trying to make things as painless as possible for everyone else. My stepdad committed suicide when I was about 7 years old. In his letter he wrote he was lonely since my mother left him. He mentioned that he couldn't live anymore because I didn't want to see him anymore and didn't want to talk to him on the phone when he called my mother the last time. I found him hanging on my grandmother's attic where I played hide and seek with my cousin. At this time he was three weeks dead. Even though nobody was mentioned, this specific note stays close to my heart to this day. My dad is a retired detective, and one day a few years ago he came home from work visually distraught. I usually talk to him about his day, so I asked him what was wrong, and he told me a young man, I think around 22, had committed suicide and the note broke his heart. I asked what it said and it reads something like mom, dad, I'm sorry I couldn't be stronger. I hope to see you both someday in a place that's beautiful. Used to know this woman, whose ex-husband killed himself, and used his suicide note to tell his children, 6 and 8 yo, that their mummy killed him, and not only was it her fault, but this too. And the police dealing with it had to be physically stopped by the mother from reading it to her damn kids. One of the more fucked up stories from where I live 